New developments in a story Team 10 broke in March. The North County woman who died after a turmeric infusion may have had an allergic reaction to castor oil. Our investigator Allison Ash is live in the newsroom. And Allison, how does castor oil come into play in this now? Well, you know, it's something that the FDA says was mixed with a component of turmeric. It's called curcumin. In its report, this report here that is out just today, the FDA says the type of castor oil that was in Jade Eric's IV is is not suitable for human consumption. The IV solution that Jade Eric hoped would cure her painful case of eczema instead caused an allergic reaction so severe it killed her. Naturopathic Dr. Kim Kelly in Encinitas gave Eric the infusion that the Food and Drug Administration now says was a mixture of curcumin, a component of turmeric, and polyethylene glycol, or PEG40, castor oil. The FDA tracked the compound to this company, Imprimis RX. It's based in San Diego, but the actual product used on Jade Eric came from the company's Irvine branch. The FDA report says the castor oil label says for laboratory use only. This type of castor oil, not suitable for consumption or therapeutic use. Imprimis RX recalled all products containing this type of castor oil after the death of Jade Eric and another patient who the FDA says also had a serious reaction. That patient survived. Team 10 contacted Imprimis and got a statement. The company said it never got a prescription order for Eric and never dispensed a product for her. Imprimis says it has the highest quality and regulatory standards and that PEG castor oil is used in lots of FDA approved products and is legal to be used with curcumin. The company plans to make a public statement for us Monday. Of course, we'll let you know what they have to say. Reporting live in the newsroom, Allison Ash, Team 10. Allison, thank you. And Team 10 is always working for you. If you have a story you'd like us to look into, email team10 at 10news.com.